Here we go, back on the range. Rogue is one of the, probably, I mean, it's a pretty good sized brand. One of the more well-known exercise fitness brands. They build some pretty cool stuff. They build these plates that go into your vest and they just add weight to yourself when you're working out, running, doing whatever. This is about a 15 pound plate right here. And it has a big old warning right there, not for use as body armor. And I, when I saw that, I thought we may as well try it. So we are going to put this steel plate, which is not supposed to be used for body armor, we're gonna put it to the test to see what bullets it can stop. Now, with that being said, I am going to give the same warning as Rogue and tell you all, do not use this as body armor because that is not what it's made for. So, with that being said, let's freaking do it. So that over there is the truck where I will be shooting at and I got the plate set up right here, quite a ways away just to be safe. Also set it off at a slight angle so that when the bullets hit, they kind of veer off that direction, not straight back at me. I don't know how well this plate is gonna do. It is a thick, heavy metal plate, so it's gotta stop something, but we're just gonna start from the bottom, work our way up, as always, see what happens. All right, starting off strong, 22 long rifle. I'll send a few down there just for fun, but here we go. Right after the first shot, the plate fell down, but here we are, and it looks like I hit right at that top corner right there and did nothing but chip off that paint, so not too bad. It makes it a little bit trickier because there's all this empty space right here. I didn't expect the 22 to do much, so now let's move up to some handguns. Okie dokie. Okay, gonna be shooting now the nine millimeter full metal jacket. Put two in there just in case. Hopefully it stops it. It should, right? It should. Here we go. Here we go, nice little shot there. Not even a dent from that nine millimeter. Not even a dent, just scratched the paint off. Like nothing, nothing at all. I am a little disappointed in this nine millimeter, but let's move on to something a little bit faster. What if we do the 5.7 by 28, which is made to go through body armor. Gonna be taking one shot with the 5.7 by 28 full metal jacket. So it's none of the armor piercing stuff, but it's still moving very fast. Find out. Okay, attempt number two. Same thing, here we go. There we go. Looks like I hit down here on their warning sign. Um, honestly, still not, not a ton of damage at all. So now let's move on to some rifles and start getting some dents in this plate. Come on. First rifle round is going to be the 762 by 39. Gonna see if it does anything to this plate. Okay, so, wow, I hit right there. Look at that dent. So that was so close to just going straight through the, the opening on that O. Made that back come out quite a ways. I'm gonna take one more shot with the 762 by 39 and try and hit a little bit higher or lower. Try and stay away from the letters a little bit. Same thing, let's just see if we can hit a little bit higher. Stay away from those nasty letters. Here we go. I'm a little bit nervous, that plate flew. Oh, okay. Yeah, this isn't good. Right at the top there is where I hit and that went straight through this plate. That is hilarious. I didn't, I honestly, I didn't think it would, but it looks like it did, no problem. I am honestly a little bit surprised at that. I thought that we were gonna at least be able to make it to the 223, but that 762 by 39 went straight through this thing. So it did stop the nine millimeter and the 5.7 by 28. I wish I had more handgun rounds um, to test, obviously. Hopefully one day in the near future. It did pretty good at stopping the handguns. They did little to very no damage. I mean, it just tore the paint off of this thing, so. Um, but this thing is not rifle rated at all. I thought it was fun. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.